Now time for a look at your top 10 stories in just two minutes. ABC 10 cameras captured a spin out this morning on I-5 near Sutterville Road. Our crew went back to check on the driver. They were okay, but while they were there, another car spun out hitting our live truck. A crack near the Twain Hart Dam led to an evacuation advisory. It came after police checked out reports of a loud explosion. The evacuation advisory is for the areas of Good Shepherd Drive, Lucky Strike Trail in Upper Crystal Falls, and Sullivan Creek Bridge along the creek. We, the jury on the charge of manslaughter in the first degree find the defendant guilty. Former Brooklyn Center Minnesota officer Kim Potter found guilty on both first and second degree manslaughter charges today. Potter shot and killed Dante Wright, claiming that she meant to grab her taser instead. She'll be sentenced in February. In Placer County, 35-year-old Joseph Opata sentenced to 15 years to life in prison after being found guilty of attempted murder. Opata stabbed two people outside of an Auburn library in 2019. He had no connection to either victim. And as San Joaquin County, investigators have reopened the case of Joseph Che Dominguez, who was last seen in 1981. It comes after remains were found in the county. Those remains are now undergoing DNA testing. Los Angeles police shot and killed a 14-year-old girl who was inside a Burlington dressing room. They were firing at a suspect in a separate assault on a woman. That suspect was also killed. Police don't know if the girl was trying on clothes or hiding from the gunfire. An early morning fire destroyed a home along Garden Highway near the Sacramento River. Luckily, no one was home. The cause is still under investigation. A Sacramento family's homeless after a separate apartment fire this week. The family was woken up by smoke and fire and barely escaped. You never think you're going to be homeless on Christmas. We've posted a link to the family's GoFundMe at abc10.com. Celebrated author and Sacramento native Joan Didion died today at the age of 87. Fans left flowers, remembrances, and letters of appreciation today at the home where she grew up. Body camera video captured the moment when deputies in Kentucky rescued two babies who survived a tornado. Both are okay and now with their families tonight. Praise God, Lord Jesus. I love you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. She's oh, in the car with him. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And that's a look at tonight's top 10 stories in just two minutes.